Hey guys, Apple today released iOS 11.2, Beta 5 to register developers, and interestingly enough, also was released for public beta testers at the same time. So both developers and public beta testers can download this. Now for my iPhone 10 was 47 megabytes, which means not a whole lot has changed with this software. However, I do feel very happy to see this software because if you follow me here on YouTube or Twitter, you know that iOS 11.2 Beta 4 wasn't really nice to me. So hopefully this will fix any of the freezing issues and things that I was encountering. Anyway, the bill number 15C5111A, a longer bill number, meaning we could still see another beta before it's official release, maybe beta 6 as Goldmaster candidate release on the 4th and 5th, and the official release sometime at the 12th or the 13th, right before the holiday season here in December. So what's new with the software? Well, actually, I've been playing around with it within the last 30 minutes that it was released. I haven't found any new features or any new changes. If I do, I would give you a follow-up video, but with such a small download, I don't see any new features being added other than bug fixes as we usually see. Now, in here in iCloud, we haven't seen the iMessages with an iCloud. That feature may be scrapped altogether. It doesn't look like Apple is gonna be pushing that feature to 11.2 either. We were hoping it for 11.1, not there. 11.2, still beta five, not there. That feature was first introduced on iOS 11.0, beta two and beta three, and then it was all completely disappeared. Maybe Apple just scrapped the whole idea. But iMessages with an iCloud's a feature that you can sync all your messages or iMessages and delete them on one device and then delete on the other. I filmed a video actually when it was first introduced with beta uh, 2 or 3 for iOS 11.0. That video has been on standby and never released it because Apple removed the feature. So all in all, browsing through the OS already feels a lot better than beta 4 in my opinion. Now, when I say that bad experience with iOS 11.2 beta 4, I mean iPhone 10 specifically. I've seen a few issues with the iPhone 8, but not as many as the iPhone 10. Like the uh, phone application would freeze on me and things like that. So uh, other things that I came across. If you want to see that video, links in the description. But guys, there you have it. No iMessages with an iCloud, no new wallpapers, nothing new really in terms of features and just bug fixes. I'll report back to you guys if the battery has improved or if anything else I come across with this new software. I'll be sure to update you guys with another video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.